Welcome back to Star Trek Nitpickers, everybody. Lieutenant William here. Wow, do we ever have something to talk about today? Quentin Tarantino recently made some huge statements about what is most likely to be the next Star Trek film. Let me take a quick second here to ask you to please subscribe to our channel. Our starship is powered by subscriptions and comments. Okay, so what were Tarantino's big comments? Well, just the other day on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, Tarantino was asked what he could reveal about the script that's been written for a Star Trek film based on his ideas idea. What he said was such a jumble of information that it needs to be unpacked a little, but the gist of it is, he's first and foremost a fan of the William Shatner era of Star Trek, and he's been given permission from J.J. Abrams to make a film that incorporates as much of the original canon universe as he wants, and throws away as much of the Kelvin universe as he wants. Tarantino insists he still doesn't understand what exactly the Kelvin timeline is, and he says J.J. Abrams told him, Nobody does. I don't understand it. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Here's a quote from Tarantino from just the other day. Now, I still don't quite understand, and J.J. Abrams can't explain it to me, and my editor has tried to explain it to me, and I still don't get it, about something happened in the first movie that now kind of wiped the slate clean. I don't buy that. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I don't... F that. I want the whole series to have happened. It just hasn't happened yet. No Benedict Cumberbach or whatever his name is, is not Khan, alright? Khan is Khan. And I told JJ, like, I don't understand this. I don't like it. And then he was like, ignore it. Nobody likes it. I don't understand it. Just do whatever you want. If you want it to happen the exact way it happened on the series, it can. The interviewer says, you're honoring the show that you love and grew up with. Tarantino says, yeah, exactly. He says he likes Star Trek because of William Shatner, and the reason he got interested in doing a Star Trek film was how impressed he was with Chris Pine. Tarantino says he loved the way Chris Pine didn't only do Kirk, he did William Shatner's Kirk. He also mentions how Zachary Quinto did Nimoy's Spock as opposed to just Spock, and how he and Pine both nailed it. So, I'd say it's a shoe in we'll be getting Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto back for more Kirk and Spock, but this time they'll actually be the Kirk and Spock from the Prime timeline. Or maybe they just found a way to insert all of Tarantino's ideas into the Kelvin timeline without him even realizing it. Either way, I think this is basically what Star Trek needs at this point. I agree with Tarantino that Chris Pine did a great job at portraying Shatner's Kirk, but the alternate universe and the explanation for it are weak. People still love Kirk and Spock and Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto, but nobody ever really was crazy about the Kelvin universe. So let it be a trilogy that's come and gone and give us a better reboot with the same actors. I think that's pretty much the plan. This would be in line with some of the unofficial reports we were getting back when this story first broke. See my most watched video ever, Tarantino Star Trek not in the Kelvin timeline. Here's another reason to think Tarantino is basically doing a second reboot. He refers to J.J. Star Trek as the first reboot in a recent interview with Deadline. He also says it will be like Pulp Fiction in space, contrary to what Simon Pegg has said. I'm going to read from the Deadline interview for a bit here, so, okay, here goes. Tarantino. I'm a big fan of the show Star Trek. I really like it a lot, but my portal into that show is William Shatner. I love William Shatner on Star Trek. I love his performance as James T. Kirk. That is my connection. That is my umbilical cord. It's why I like Star Trek more than Star Wars, because William Shatner's not in Star Wars. I think it's one of the greatest performances in the history of episodic television of a series lead, and rightly so, because very few series leads have ever gotten the opportunity to play all the different wild, crazy things. The enemy within, alone. Deadline. That's the fifth episode in the first season, directed by Leo Penn, where Kirk splits into two people because of a transporter malfunction, as his main crew is stranded on a planet. Tarantino. So that's why I actually really was so taken with J.J. Abrams' first reboot, and how fantastic I thought Chris Pine channeled William Shatner. He didn't go a serious actor -y way. He said, well, no, I'm going to do my own thing. He's playing the William Shatner version of Kirk, and he's doing a fantastic job at it. I mean, perfect, frankly. And Zachary Quinto is perfect as Spock. Those two guys, they effing got it. Deadline. What would the R rating give you that PG-13 would not? Tarantino. I just don't think it's that big of a deal, but if I'm going to do it, then I'm going to do it my way. If you've seen my nine movies, you kind of know my way is an R-rated way, and a way that is without certain restrictions. So that goes part and parcel. I think it would be more controversial if I'm going to do a PG movie, and it's going to fit exactly in the universe. 
It's not me. What the F am I doing? I mean, I didn't even do that when I did that CSI episode. The thing is, when I talk to JJ about it, it's not that radical. We're just not worrying about stuff like that. JJ said, Quentin, I love this idea because I think with Star Trek, we can go any way we want to. Look, I've got a situation. As long as Paramount likes the idea and the script, they almost got nothing to lose right now when it comes to Star Trek. Deadpool showed that you can rethink these things, do them in a different way. So really, even before J.J. knew what the idea was, his feeling was, if it wants to be an R rating, fine. If it wants to be the wild bunch in space, fine. Deadline. So will you direct it? Tarantino. I will say one thing about Star Trek that I've been waiting for someone to bring up. I don't know if I'll do it or not. I've got to figure it out, but Mark wrote a really cool script. I like it a lot. There's some things I need to work on, but I really, really liked it. I get annoyed at Simon Pegg. He doesn't know anything about what's going on, and he keeps making all these comments as if he knows about stuff. One of the comments he said, he's like, Well, look, it's not going to be Pulp Fiction in space. Yes, it is, laughs hard. If I do it, that's exactly what it'll be. It'll be Pulp Fiction in space, that Pulp Fiction-y aspect. When I read the script, I felt, I have never read a science fiction movie that has this shit in it, ever. There's no science fiction movie that has this in it. And they said, I know, that's why we want to make it. It's, at the very least, unique in that regard. Okay, folks, let me know what you think about all of this, and please, subscribe. Live long and prosper.